Hello, as many of you know, we are getting um, rid of the cold weather and coming into the warmer weather. But um, I don't know about any of you, but I know in the winter I definitely like a warm blanket to snuggle up with when I'm cold. So um, I'm t here today, I'm going to show you um, three steps on how to make a tie blanket. So um, my, first, my first step really is kind of what you need and where you can get it from. Um, my second is the actual steps you'll go through to make the tie blanket. And my third is how um, making tie blankets can benefit the community. So according to target.com, oops, no. According to Target.com, a regular fleece blanket costs anywhere from $14.99 to $33.99, depending on how big you want it or the quality of the blanket. But um, moving over here to Walmart, I went to Walmart and bought two pieces of fabric and paid about $8.50, again, depending on the size. But usually um, at Target, you're going to pay more, and um, you can pay less to make your own blanket. So um, first, um, that, that was my first step on where you can get it and um, just um, kind of where you can buy the um, a regular fleece blanket and material. So next, that'll move, um, we'll move into the steps. The first step you want to take is um, lining up your two materials. And then um, your second step is you're going to want to um, cut about one inch. So when you're cutting one inch, it can be a little longer than one inch, but you don't want the sizes to be too big or else they won't tie very well. So then as you're cutting, you just keep cutting one inch. It's, it doesn't really matter how, um, sometimes it'll matter how wide they are, but you kind of want to look at the length when you're cutting into them. So I'm not going to cut the whole thing, but then um, as far as going, when you get down here to the end and you start cutting, um, you want to have room for tying. So then you're going to take the corner piece once you get to the end, and you're going to cut off one of the corner pieces. So usually just this first tie that you cut down here is usually where you want to cut. And that way it then makes room for your tying. So then when you begin to tie, you want to take um, the bottom piece here and then the top piece, and you're just going to tie them around each other. And usually you'll pull tight. And um, <clears throat> with this fabric, it won't stay very well. But if you get a thicker fabric, you want to do a double knot so that it stays um, better. So if you continue to tie... Sometimes it'll tie good, and then sometimes you do have to take the ends and pull them a little bit so that um, they don't, all the ties don't get stuck together. So eventually, when you continue tying, you'll make your way around the whole blanket, and then um, your blanket will be finished, and it'll look probably something like this. So, um... Next, then, that will move me into how um, making a tie blanket can benefit the community. So, according to um, Social Solutions, 564,708 people were um, considered homeless in the year of 2016 in the U.S. So, um, to as far as going as benefiting the community, making a tie blanket, you can donate them to homeless shelters or just maybe some somebody that is homeless on the street that you see. So um, as far as me personally, I have done this before. So um, seeing a homeless person on the street and just giving them a warm blanket to stay warm definitely puts a smile on their face just so they know that um, they are, I mean, they may be um, suffering from starvation and everything like that, but they have a way of staying warm when it is cold outside. So. Um, when thinking about making a tie blanket and going the lesser route, definitely think about the homeless people that aren't so warm when it's winter. And just make that difference, and they're sure to smile. So um, 
um, thinking about this today when making a tie blanket, I covered um, what materials you'll need and where you can get them, the four easy steps you can take to making a tie blanket, and how making a tie blanket can benefit the community as um, donating to homeless shelters. So thank you.